Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this replay we have Bogdan in the IS-7, the tier 10, uh, one of the tier 10 Russian heavy tanks, there's just so many of those. Um, but yeah, the IS-7, what is good about the IS-7, what is bad? Well, the speed is good, the speed is amazing. With that 59.6, I think it's not something weird like that, uh, almost 60 kilometers an hour top speed. Um, 18 if I'm not mistaken, power to rate ratio, which is lovely as well. <clears throat> and just overall, a really, really fast vehicle. Um, yeah, so Bogdan's gonna go with regular hardening device, Vert's tabs actually, in the firepower slot, and a gun rammer in the regular slot. So, this is actually surprising. I mean, sure, the i7 doesn't have good gun handling, 0.4 dispersion, or 3 second aim time, which are definitely bad. But it also actually has awful DPM, and by awful I mean the worst DPM out of any uh, tier 10 vehicle. Can you catch? There we go, the Chieftain P luckily is caught over there with the first shell of the battle. So, I-7, what is bad about the vehicle? Um, the gun. Pretty much everything about the gun is not accurate. Um, awful DPM. Even the gold rounds, as you can see, that Bogner's taking quite a few of have only 303mm of penetration, which are going to struggle against a lot of vehicles at tier 10. Regular rounds have only 250mm of penetration. The gun is definitely not good, it's definitely not like heavy tank gun, I guess. Um, but with the speed that you have on this vehicle, with the, the amazing armor that you have on this vehicle, I think that if you're going to fight mediums, you push forwards and fight the mediums, you can actually have some amazing results with this vehicle but i mean you can also do this you know let's just go hull down and let the enemy team try and pen our very strong turret which has like 400 ish i guess effective armor very rounded as well so you can't really penetrate it you do have kind of like a weaker area right around this part in the bottom part next to the gun uh where it's only only around 340 millimeters effective armor uh, also if you raise the gun you will show a very weak area underneath that gun mantle, so don't raise the gun when fighting with the IS-7. But, I mean, you don't get penned by most vehicles, you will get penned by high heat rounds, that is for sure. I mean, that WZ, um, it's the 11114, never mind, I thought it was the 11115A, uh, which actually has 350mm of heat rounds, if I'm not mistaken, that can go through uh, this vehicle's turret. But unless they actually have really, really high penetration rounds, they will not be able to contest this vehicle's turret armor. Also, when you angle like this, um, a lot of people try to shoot the side, right? This is, this is, a, you know, it's pretty strong. You can shoot the bottom part, actually. There's like a bottom bar over here, extending from the hull, which is weaker than the, um, than the upper part of that side armor. So you, you, make sure to use that. In the future against some IS-7s, just make sure that he's over-wrangling. If he's not over-wrangling, then, I mean, you'll just bounce off no matter what, right? So, IS-7, very strong turret. Can we catch a 704? No. Um, weak lower plate. If you try to side scrape out, it makes this pike nose uh, weaker, unfortunately. And it's going to be like 250, 260-ish, I guess, effective armor. So... How do I think you should paint the IS-7? Rush forwards, fight mediums. Uh, you don't have a lot of gun depression, six degrees of gun depression, so make sure it's not a uh, hilly terrain, I guess. No ridges over there to fight on. But when you go after the lightly armored vehicles, then... And I know, I know, Bogdan. Why, how did that one go through? I have no idea. Right through the gun mantlet over here. Uh, but uh, what was I saying? about fighting mediums, right? Usually they don't have a lot of armor. You don't have a lot of pen. Um, the, the one plus one equals two, right? You have the speed to fight against them. This is 75 doesn't like Bogdan, apparently. Uh, you have the speed to fight them. You have the gun to fight them. You have the armor to bounce some of their shells and you can just bully those mediums at times and just finish them off, which is something you can't really do too much against heavies because they are usually going to be better in most aspects, right? So unless you can find lovely positions like this one where you hold down, where you don't need to use the gun depression, which this vehicle doesn't have a lot of, 
um, then you will struggle against a lot of the other heavies. So make use of the speed, make use of the fact that this vehicle has medium tank mobility and just be aggressive. Uh, that will be my tip for you with the IS-7. You can obviously do this as well if you like, but there aren't many maps where you can do this, right? So, Bogdan, so far 2,400 damage, can put another one into the... 114, no! 14, yes, oh my goodness. Uh, my goodness, one to the IS-4. I'm trying to remember all of the names of those Chinese heavy tanks that are now pushing forwards. IS-4, WZ-111-14. Can we catch the WZ? No, unfortunately not, but there's an Emil-2 over here, just waiting. Just waiting for Bogdan to make some sort of mistake. And it is actually the Emil who is making the mistake, getting caught in the side over here. And, okay... Stopping. Nice. I do. I do. Hello, Emil. Did you get disconnected, sir? I guess I'm trying to go after the Type 4 Heavy, but Bogdan is just going to say please and thank you. Put one in to the hull of the Emil. Easy peasy pen. Easy kill. Actually, getting low rolls before. You have 490 alpha damage on the i7. Got 448, 465. Which, unfortunately, are low rolls, but I mean, needed three shells anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Up to 4,244 damage in this battle. One kill. But there's still a lot to do over here. A lot of vehicles left on the enemy team. A lot of HP to go through if you want to win this battle. Checking to see if the chieftain of the teenage might try to be cheeky and push forwards as well. They don't seem to be doing that. Actually getting spotted by something. What? Spotted by what? We do not know. Maybe it was the 5120. One into the 50 TP. Needs to watch out from the 704. Don't we'll get hit by that 750 alpha damage. Russian beast over there. Going after the 50 TP. Side scraping out. Can we catch the 50 TP? There we go. One into the lower plate of the 50 TP. Is now pushing forwards. Don't want to get hit by the 50 TP as well, which has quite a bit of, uh, of damage. Can we get the one shot in? Can we get that one shot in? The 50 TP misses and luckily Bogdan gets the shell in. And it does not low roll. Getting the second kill of this battle. 5,680 damage so far. Unfortunately, the A phase 1 towards the west is collapsing. Three heavies over there. But the 2684 is pushing towards this area. Lucky the FE. No, the FE actually gets shut down by the 704 gun that I was talking about earlier. It was actually the Ice 4 that spotted us previously. My goodness, so many things happening. Aiming, aiming, trying to catch the side of the TNH, and unfortunately hitting the right track instead of the left one. That is not good. That is not good. But Bogdan's going in. Can't stay over there anymore. Going for the kills, going for the damage, shutting down the TNH over there. Ice 4 pushing forwards, Ice 4 is a two shot. Luckily, we still have a lot of HP over here. But the Chieftain P is pushing forwards. Doesn't go through the side of the IS-7 over here. One to the net of the IS-4. Luckily, the IS-4 is not penetrating as well. Using the armor very nicely over here, blocking left, right, and center. Didn't want to die to the IS-4. IS-4 bounces once again, catching the side of the IS-4, shutting them down. Up to 6,700 damage. This is crazy. This is just non-stop action over here. Charging down the Chieftain P. Can we finish off that tier 9? British premium tank. No. Trying to go for a different approach, actually. Not going after the Chieftain, but actually going down south. That was a close one, 704 with a big chunky boy gun, unfortunately misses that shell over there, that would have been pretty bad, that would have been pretty bad, you don't want to get hit by a 750 alpha damage gun right now. It is a 2v5, Bogdan and uh, the E4 against 5 of the enemy team, still have a 1 to 1B which is very dangerous, a lot of DPM on that one, okay, the E4 shuts down the 1 to 1B, good job by the E4 on Bogdan's team. But that is a very healthy T95, 1,400 HP over there. And the Chieftain pushes forwards, puts one into the Chieftain P, luckily bounces that shell. Great use of the armor, like I said, this armor is a delicious against, you know, it can be good against lower tiers as well. I was mentioning mediums catching the pole of the T95. Uh, I was mentioning mediums, but if you go against heavies or like any vehicle that is at a lower tier, you can bounce quite a lot of shells. Chieftain P angling, I, I don't know how, why, who, what, where, why, when. But that Chieftain P is now trying to put one into the Tiano. Lucky the Tiano 5 misses. Take your time. Aim. Catch the Capola. And unfortunately, it does not hit. Goes down and ricochets off the T95. 1v4. It was a 1v4. Now a 1v3 against three very dangerous tank destroyers over here. 
one to the Capola. E forces flank him. I actually don't agree with this one. You don't want to get hit by 1395 right now. You can use your turret to bounce some shells. Go hold down, try to not get hit. You know, the T95 has this huge components, and there we go. T95 shut down 8,855 damage and six kills. Well played by Bogdan Silver. The 704 is going on an adventure, I guess. I love the AP switch over here. Don't want to use the gold rounds. I want to save them for the 2684 to catch the side of the 704. Setting on fire, but unfortunately, he has an automatic fire extinguisher, and that means that the 704. Is going to survive on 80 HP over there. I have no idea what that 704 was doing driving into that corner. I guess he just he likes that corner or something. But they're just pushing forwards again. An HE round should be enough. Shut down the 704. Just just shoot them Bogdan. Oh my goodness, too busy writing. The V4 HP and getting hit by that 2684 is not good. A heat round into the backside, leaving Bogdan on 993 HP. Luckily, you can still take one hit. You can still take one hit unless you get set on fire. No fire extinguisher is pretty bad. I would have actually loved to see an HE round over here go into 704, try to just finish him off, even without a penetration. But Bogdan is going with an AP round, 2684 inside the cap circle, 704 still sitting in the south. What is Bogdan going to do? Up to 9,400 damage. Want to reach that magical 10k over here, but it's going to be difficult against two very dangerous Russian tank destroyers, the 2684 and the 704. Okay, what is Bogdan going to do? Need to watch out. The 2684 might be waiting. Might be lurking in that. There we go. Lovely stuff by Bogdan. Going for the reverse side scraping technique, which I always like to use myself. Always fun. Always nice. Is the 2684 actually over here? It doesn't seem like he is. Where is that 2684? There he is. Is he actually aiming over here? Was he aiming over here? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Watch out, Bogdan. Not firing because it doesn't have a lot of shells. I love this play. The 2684 misses. And Bogdan's going forwards. Is Bogdan going to go for a, a shell on the move? Yes. No. Nowhere. Okay. Saving those shells. I mean, didn't have a lot of ammo over here. Like I said, not a lot of pen on those rounds. You need to make use of every single shell over here. Didn't want to just throw them away without knowing that you'll actually pen the enemy vehicle. Bogdan trying to find a cheeky angle, go from a different angle. Did as if he's going towards the north, I'm trying to flank the 2684, and I was cutting towards the middle once again. Is the 2684 going to realize this, or is he going to aim towards the north? What is going to happen over here? He can't knock down this lamp or whatever it is. There we go. Need to avoid hitting debris because that kind of tells where you are. 705 actually pushes forward, spots Bogdan. Is the 2684 going to look at us? No, he's actually looking towards the other side, going for the ram. 14 pitch point remaining, going for the ram overhead and not getting it. Wait, what? No damage to the 2684, taking 32 HP for some reason. Luckily, the 2684 reverses, that means we can push him up the rubble pond. 704 with an 834 damage shot over here, that's not good. 127 HP remain, 704 is an 80 hit points, luckily that 2684 did not go through. Okay, whew, crazy stuff, crazy stuff over here, where's the 704 going? Looks like the 704 is driving towards the, the south, Bogdan, running right after them, but you need to watch out, the 704 might just decide to turn around and just wait, facing towards you. Where's the 704? Disappeared. Lurking somewhere in the shadows, I guess. Bogdan's up to 9,928 damage. I mean, this shot is for the 10k Radley Walters and and the win. Watch out, Bogdan. You don't want to get... There's a 704. He's actually... Okay. The 704 was, was going on an adventure, I guess. And Bogdan just, you know, showing off. Raising the gun at the end. Um, you deserve it. You deserve it, Bogdan. Amazing game. 10k damage is always nice. And it's actually showing the weak spot that I was talking about earlier. If you raise the gun, this area can be penetrated by a lot of vehicles. So uh, watch out when you do this. Anyway. Anyway, crazy game by Bogdan over here. Just driving everywhere, pretty much. Making the play against the 2684. Making it look like they're going north. 
cutting through the middle, amazing stuff. I was actually sure the ram was going to finish off the 2684, did not expect to actually take damage without giving any in return. But anyway, lovely stuff, good use of the armor, good use of the gun, the mobility, everything, everything was just really nice by Bogdan over here in the IS-7. So yeah, amazing game, GG, well played, and let's go take a quick look at the post-game stats. There we go, Ace Tanker for 1658 base experience, a bunch of those ribbons, Radley Waters for getting 8 kills, Steel Ball for blocking 3220 damage over here, High Caliber for the 10,008 damage, um, a Top Gun for 6 or more kills, 8 in this case, like I said, just amazing stuff. Amazing stuff by Bogdan over here, I was actually surprised, <laughs> okay, <laughs> never mind. Uh, no matter. 28 shots fired, 28 of those hit. So this is actually extremely surprising. Uh, the i7 is definitely not known for its accuracy, right? So really good stuff over here. 24 of those penetrated. So amazing, amazing ratio for an i7. Incredible stuff by Bogdan over here. Even with, you know, shooting goal rounds most of the time, you still don't really penetrate. Too often with the IS-7, 303mm of penetration is definitely uh, not very high at tier 10. So it was goal rounds, but it was also aimed very well by Bogdan over here. Um, 10k damage, 500 of those from 300 meters or more. 12 hits received, only 4 of those penetrated. 8 did not lovely stuff using the good turret armor, angling the IS-7 like you should, and just bouncing. Quite a lot of damage, 3,220, which is enough to actually finish off the vehicle. And then some. One vehicle spotted, 10 damaged, 8 destroyed in total. 56 defense points, going after that 2684. And uh, yeah, shutting them down, 3.8 kilometers travel, like I said. Moving all along the western flank over here. Doing everything they needed. Really good stuff in this 13 minute and 57 second battle. Actually getting a few credits, which is rather surprising. I mean, when you fire a lot of gold, you don't really expect to get any credits. So actually getting a small profit is always nice over here. Uh, 4,974 XP total, 250 free XP. Lovely stuff over here. And yeah, GG. Well played Bogdan. Amazing stuff with the IS-7. Fast, furious vehicle, you know, very high top speed, very good mobility. Not the best gun, but I mean, when you get it to work, it works pretty nicely, I guess. Uh, but anyway, this is it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of the IS-7? Do you think it's too good, maybe? think it's good as is, not good enough? You think the IS-7 actually needs a buff, maybe? Let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comments down below. And as always, Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. You're awesome. Stay awesome. And yep, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Tatas, people. Have a good one.